coach, there's a lot of different ways you can go after one like that. I mean, what, what do you take away from that game? Well, that was bad 20 minutes of basketball, very tentative 20 minutes of basketball. And we had some shots that didn't go in, so sometimes that happens. But for us, that's where post play comes in, and it's been our Achilles heel all year that we just don't have, other than Demetrius, someone to get the ball inside and make some things happen. Um, and, you know, the turnovers in the second, he had two in the first half and then have nine in the second half. That's, that did a set. It really did. And simple, basic press, not a very high pressure press, but we're very tentative. I go back to being tentative and not being aggressive to go up there and just make just make a play towards the rim. It seemed like that zone really got you guys out of rhythm too in the second half. Would you agree with that? We practice against the zone every day because we play it. We practice against zone today and it's just like the first half for them in our zone. They, they couldn't quite figure it out. And for us, we had some good looks, but we just kept taking threes instead of getting to the rim, trying to get fouled. But the rebound, it's a second chance opportunity. We didn't get any in, we didn't get in the second half, and they got too many. And that, that's what really put them back in the game. What do you say to your guys after a game like that where it looks, and after the first half, you guys are rolling, confident, and then the whole, the whole tone shifted. What do, you, what do you say to your guys? What, what's the mood right now? Well, it's happened to us this season from the first couple games uh, that we turned into a different team. It's... As a coach, you can just try and to keep, get them to understand things that we have to learn. But at some point, you just got to be honest and let, let them know that you know, if we want to be a better team, we can be tentative. And you have to rebound the basketball. And fundamentals. That's all it is, is fundamentals. And here we only had 11 turnovers, but there were 11 crucial ones down, or nine crucial ones down the stretch. You played a lot of basketball, you coached a lot of basketball. I think you went the last 9-31 without scoring. Do you remember a, a, a drought that long? Yeah, a few, a few, early, a few early in the season yeah. like that. Thought we were over that. I mean, the only way that we allow this game to get, to allow them to get back in the game is do exactly that. Not score, not get fouled, and not rebound the basketball. We had the trifecta. Not a good one. The uh, momentum that you guys have gained from the last few games, do you feel like that's been lost after a game like tonight? Well, it could if you have guys that aren't tough to understand that basketball is a game of runs and that you, know, you just have to keep keep fighting and pushing. But you know, we've been counting on JJ and Austin. They gave us big lifts in the first half, and then the second half they played more like freshmen. That's okay. They'll they'll bounce back. But we just need some leadership from our older our upperclassmen to really kind of push us through these tough times. So I'm going to be leaning on our our seniors to kind of push us through this. Don't have a lot of time to bounce back here. You go home, which is good, but you got a Green Bay team that's pretty good this year, also. Oh, absolutely. They've got bigs inside. They're going to pound it inside on us, and until we can get tough enough and guard inside, we're going to we're going to we're going to struggle. And let's just hopefully these guys grow up in the next 48 hours. Appreciate it, Rob. Yep. Thanks.